You're going to bow the knee before Christ. You're, the books of your life will be opened up and every eye to word. Jesus said you will give an account for on the day of judgment. That should scare the hell out of you. That should scare the hell out of a criminal. A criminal who has all the evidence before the judge. And the criminal stands before the judge and proud and arrogant. And you do the same thing. God said through the prophet in the psalm, he said, David said, my sin is ever before me. That's a sign of somebody who knows the Lord. They see their sin. They see how sinfully sinful they are. They see their need for a savior. But most of you are what the Bible says. Most men proclaim their own goodness. Most of you think that you are good. And you give an analogy of somebody who is good. But the Bible says there is no one who is good apart from being born of the Spirit of God. You see, I am good because Jesus Christ has made me good. God is my Father. Jesus Christ is my brother. I have been accepted into the beloved. You see, I have passed from death into life. And God has given me a new heart, a new desire. No longer do I desire the things that you desire, but I desire the things that please God. What about you? What is it that you think about? You think about that show you're going to watch on television on Tuesday night? You think about the next movie you're going to watch? You think about the next music CD you're going to buy? And you think that pleases God? Well, God says He's going to destroy all your idols. Because all those things that you exalt above God, God said He will destroy. And look in America today. God, through the hands of wicked men, are destroying America. Just like God sent Nebuchadnezzar to destroy Israel, God is going to raise up someone to destroy the wicked in this land. God said, evil shall slay the wicked. Oh, but what he said to me is, he said, do not fear. When the things that you fear come upon the nation, come upon the land, he said, don't be afraid. He said, rejoice, because your redemption draws nigh. Oh, I know many of you would love to take all the Christians and round them up and kill them. And Jesus said, if you have hatred in your heart, you are a murderer. No murderer has eternal life. I experienced it today. I experienced it yesterday. I experienced the day before because I walked in a relationship with Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about going to church. A lot of people go to church. I'm talking about walking down the street and being friends with God. Your sins are forgiven. You are ready to meet your maker. Your reign of dying, stand before God. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, will forgive, cleanse, renew. Think about it, people. Think about eternity. You're going to die. You stand before God. And I care about you. I care about you enough to come out and tell you about the hope, the future, the destiny. I know you don't want to hear it. I know you don't want it. Because the God of this world, Satan, has blinded the minds of the unbelieving. But they will not see the light of the glorious gospel. Satan has come to steal, kill, destroy you. You were made in God's image to glorify God. So of course he's going to come and pervert and to twist and lie to you. But Jesus Christ is the truth. The truth will come and set you free. That's our desire is that all of you, all of you would come to the truth. All of you would repent and believe. True. Don't follow me. I'm not talking about going to my church. No, I'm talking about walking in a relationship with Jesus Christ. You got about five minutes. Hey.
Got five minutes on your camera. The of this world have possessions and goods and have everybody speak well of you. Jesus Christ said, Woe to you when all men speak well of you. I say to you, when some man comes up to you and says that God loves you the way that you are, that man is an abomination to God. He is a false prophet. And today in America, we have many false prophets that abound. Many churches are filled with false prophets, false pastors, hirelings. People only work for money, but they do not care about your soul. These are not the true shepherds of God. The true shepherds of God. The true prophets of God. If you would read in the Old Testament, God only raised up prophets to warn of judgment to come. And I tell you, there is a day of judgment coming. You might live to be old. You might get old. And you might die in the prime of your life. The Bible says God has not promised you anything beyond this moment. This breath, this heartbeat, God has not promised you anything more than right now. Your heartbeat could stop right now. Some of you could fall over. Your heart can stop beating, you'll fall over, and the next moment you'll find yourself the flames of hell. And there are many people in hell today, 100,000 plus, 200,000 plus people went into hell in the last 24 hours. Hell, the Bible says, enlarges itself every day. It gets bigger and bigger. That's right. And most of those people are crying out, they're saying, Oh no, go warn my mom, go warn my dad, go warn my brother, my sister, go warn my friend. And Jesus Christ told the story of Lazarus and the rich man. And, it, and the rich man said, go warn my brothers about this place. And Jesus said, if they will not believe the law and the prophets, they will not believe even if somebody rises from the dead. They went to Danville. Right now, we have in a written account 500 witnesses saw Jesus Christ after he rose from the dead. Buddhas, no Buddhas rose from the dead. Muhammad did not rise from the dead. No one has risen from the dead but the one who gives life, Jesus Christ, the God-man. He rose from the dead because death could not hold him. And that is my hope because he conquered sin and death. No longer, no longer am I a slave to my sin. No longer am I afraid of death. But he has conquered it once and for all. And you need to consider that day. You see, God says, those whom I love, I discipline. Those whom I love, I discipline. As a father disciplines the son that he delights in, so God disciplines those whom he loves. And if you, if you can live in sin, and your life is lived contrary to the law of God, the word of God, and you can care less about this, then you are not children of God. But as the word says, you are illegitimate children, bastard children, not children of God, but in the words of Jesus, children of the devil, children of perdition, children of destruction, children of wrath. You say you love life, but God says you hate life and you love death. Because you will not turn from your sin and call upon the name of the only one who can save you. You know, I was 